This is Jason's Electronics Repair. Welcome to my ER. Today we're going to do a short, hopefully short video of a Max IC floating one on here below the CPU on the Nintendo Switch with the mini hot plate using the new, um, the new station here. So we're going to get the, um, this is a 100 watt um, USB-C power delivery station. So we should be able to plug our mini hot plate in here. Mini hot plate. Let's get it over here. I need to reposition this. So I'm going to get this set up so it's right under this Max IC. Don't want to heat up that speaker connector because I don't want that to float. And this is unleaded solder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square that up. Square that up. And oh, I just bumped it. That was good. I'm going to get this right there. That's where I want it. So I'm going to let this heat up here. And we're going to go all the way up to 350. All the way up to 350. That should start heating up. All right. That's at 39C. So I'm going to bring in the scope here and make sure everything is lined up here. There we go. All right, let me see here. So that is straight for me. A little crooked for you, but that's just the camera. It's just the camera giving me issues. All right, so I need to go back a little bit. So now I can see that there. That is heating up. That's about 140. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my fume extraction on. Add a little bit of sticky chip quick flux. It's probably way too much flux. I'm going to take some of that away. Like so. And I'm going to place this chip down. Gotta work quick here before that solder gets tacky. Come on. Come on. All right, now that should start to bubble and flow into place when that gets up the temperature. And we should be good to go to see that float down. When it's ready, we'll give it a slight nudge. So we're just going to watch this. See that flux start to bubble. The uh, thing's at uh, 350, so it's holding temperature. It should be heating up that area. I don't know if it's possible to do it like this. 
So we're just testing out a theory here. Whether this fails or not, I'm going to post it. I'm looking for that flux to start to bubble. That's what I know the solder is about to melt. And I don't see any of the lead free melting around the um, capacitors. Should just see that settle right down here in a minute. to add a smidge of hot air to it. Again, this is not the recommended way to put this chip on. I just want to see if it's possible. What I'm going to do is I'm going to gently heat the top of the board with my hot air at 25 airflow. I'm just going to gently add some hot air from the top here. See if we can get this thing to flow. Moved on me. Alright, that should be good. Now I'm going to unplug this hot plate. I'm going to let that cool down. Alright. I'm going to unplug that hot plate and we're going to let this cool down slowly. It should have worked. Oh, I melted my 
fume extractor. That's what that plastic smell is. It's off of that hot plate. So that should have went down. I still had to use a little bit of hot air, but you know, the hot plate concept works. So that's going to do it for hot plate concepts. So you can float them down. So I'll need a touch of hot air. Um, I want to get it to where I can try to get it. If I put leaded solder on it, it might have. Um, went down with just the hot plate, but um, with the unleaded, I had to run the hot air. So I'm going to call it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic whole day.